The reckless killings and kidnapping roused the anger of senators during plenary as they took turns to air their views on the deplorable security situation. The Senate is concerned that the matter has become a recurring topic for discussion and now needs urgent action. National Assembly correspondent Tijia Suadewi reports. It is not a happy day at the Nigerian Senate. Senators bitterly lament the worsening security situation in the country. Fresh news of violent attacks are brought to the floor of the parliament by the senator representing Niger East, Senator Sani Musa. Over 5,000 villagers in his state have yet again been displaced as a result of attacks by insurgents. My motion today is on the activities of bandits and Boko Haram terrorists in Shururu local, Shururu, Munya and Rafi local government areas of Niger State, which has taken a dangerous dimension and requires urgent need for federal government to deploy troops and other security apparatus to immediately bring an end to the menace of this insurgency and terrorism in Niger State and other parts of Nigeria. Lawmakers cannot hold back their emotions and they express fear that the situation may have gotten out of control and could become even worse if something urgent and drastic is not done. The nation is on fire. The president was right for the occasion. It costs us nothing to get foreign, foreign support. We must rise for the occasion. We must bring in people to save this country or else we will be consumed. We are all going to be consumed in this place. See, they are pretending to say they were, that we are the people of the country and to when one of us is killed before we know precisely what is the problem on ground. They say the government must stop paying lip service to an already bad situation as it has shown clear incompetence in handling the matter and must begin to seek foreign help. A lot of Nigerians have raised, have raised their voices. Is there any shame? If the Western powers, they have the powers, the arsenal to fight this warfare, why can't we not invite them? There's a need for us to call a spade a spade. The executive have shown clear incompetence of handling this security situation. The Senate now considers the need for a supplementary budget to fund the country's armed forces and acquire more weapons to confront this imminent threat. Today, there is no level of arm of government that is not concerned about the security situation. Everybody is concerned. What is crucial is for us to buy the bullet. We must appropriate funds even though that's not the only way out that's not the only solution but the military particularly our security agencies in general require additional manpower so much manpower the leadership of the national assembly will on a later date hold a security meeting with the commander-in-chief of the armed forces and hopefully come up with effective resolutions that would stem the tide of insecurity bedeviling the nation Sijeswa Adiri, TVC News, Abuja.